if balance becomes an issue and you still really enjoy the pose warrior one, a very nice classic pose, you can do it on a chair. So we're going to have Emily to sh uh, show that for us. Sideways with your legs nice and spread. I'm going to have the crook of the knee, the back of the knee come against the side of the chair. Back leg starts to extend. Now I want to make sure of something real quick. Is the sole of your foot solid onto the ground? Heel is not. No, heel is not? Okay. What we're going to do is take a blanket, place it underneath your foot, and make sure this leg is nice and steady. Is that better? Heels on the ground, solid, sole of the foot. Perfect. All right, now, she is turned to the side. Back leg is extended. Now, she's going to have a lot of energy running down the back of that leg, toes into the mat, and pressing out through the heel. Energy, energy, lots of energy coming in there. Now, making sure hips and shoulders are facing out to the sides. Drop your arms down to your sides, and we're going to work with the breath here. Inhale, lift the arms all the way up. Beautiful. Warrior one pose, very beautiful. You have two choices here. You can have your arms straight up just like this, but relax your shoulders. Or you can bring your hands into Shiva Mudra, clasping the hands together, index fingers pointing. So you pick your favorite, whatever your favorite is, Shiva Mudra, or arms just straight up. Just make sure the shoulders are just nicely relaxed. Perfect. Classic pose that can be done on a chair. Beautiful.